folks. I, man, just wanted to say it's amazing how was saying to build it up, like everyone's saying on the memes and everything, and boom, there was a huge jump, and then of course all the speculations and all. And I guess everyone's wondering now, like, you know, should we buy? Should we wait? And you know what? Uh, that is the point of the market cycle that. Uh, it's a huge tell on what's going to happen next because people are not getting too excited to buy yet, and people or or even sell. So everyone's in that melancholy state right now. So uh, personally, I think um, people are still accumulating. Uh, and then I, I I think my favorite theory right now why the rise came up was just simply someone just bought. You know, someone some whale just bought a lot right now. Know something that we don't know. Either way, I hope you guys are still doing with your dollar cost average or you know your own methods of buying in and not getting fooled by the media and such. Because honestly, ultimately it's your money. So if you guys feel it now or never, just do it, do it when you want to do it. And someone brought up a good point online saying that people are trying to like bet during this phase right now or trying to determine what's good, but they might they they must likely be the same person that paid at, at 10k. So let's let's see the bigger picture on what you know your debate on the pricing of Bitcoin and when to buy and sell. So um, I think that um, the happening next year will be a huge factor too. The catalyst, one of the biggest catalysts of all. So in other words, there's plenty of time to to do more research still. Um, I think everyone should just take a step back from this this pump and this rise right now and just just enjoy it right now and let's not overthink it and um, I, I mainly want to make a video right now because um, I've, I've been uh, I saw one of the crypto youtubers uh, uh, mentioning about how you know there's gonna be uh, th this next run's gonna be amazing and um, I think right now what what's really dependent is the gateway to crypto and unfortunately right now people still think it's just coinbase only so a lot of majority of people still don't know how to get in and i still remember um the last bull run before i was before i got up people were questioning it and i recommended uh coinbase and that's as good as it gets during that time for people as easy as it gets actually but you know i'm glad that now with institutionals coming in now and more more and more uh, exchanges coming in it's gonna be good. The easier that can get it for people to get in, the, the, the easier the the run, the bigger the run will be. So if someone can think of an exchange that you can just seriously, you know, just link your your bank card and and then submit payments without overthinking it, then I, I say go for it. So um, it's another thing to just appreciate and and just. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sometimes you just uh, sometimes there's just jerks on the road right now. <laughs> but then again, look at me. I'm, re I'm I'm recording while while talking to you guys, and this is a, honestly like the best place to think sometimes for me. It was just weird. And probably that's why a lot of people like to do this in general. But anyways, um, I just wanted to just express again that there's more opportunities to get into crypto other than Coinbase. Um, I mean, a lot of it, a lot of the ones out there right now, um, like Binance, KuCoin, this, and the, are are having credit card payments now. There's going to be decentralized exchanges that might be a little bit too advanced for some, from some users, uh, especially like my dad. <laughs> like the older generation would probably want something easier. That's why Fidelity's in now. So, but I think what would help build this community is if the younger generation. Like, like my generation and younger, and in my age range, I'm 33. Um, I think it's the best time to start educating, your, like your parents, the elders, because I'm sure they. Uh, I'm, there's been a lot like of interest for the elders, but they don't know how to get in because all they're caught up is with with the old stuff, which is understandable. Which is why the banks love them so much because you know that's where they started, and where our generation now is getting involved with crypto. So. I think what help what would help build and grow this community is that we we help 
the elders transition out to as well. So those who know, those who understand, just keep just keep influencing people there because you won't you'll be surprised how far it'll take right now for this, especially during this phase of crypto right now. It's so young and uh, those who are watching this right now are are the one percent that's involved still. And honestly, anything that's expensive to you right now, it's probably going to be nothing in the future. It's going to be a drop in the bucket, how they say. So, um, if you have any, if anyone have questions about it, please uh, message me or please have a discussion below and discuss uh, the best ways to get into crypto uh, I still believe that you know the more we can just share our knowledge on what's best to get in the better I think uh, what a lot of people are, are probably trying I noticed that's probably mentioning it's also tough because we're, we're I'm in the USA so um, people mention cash app because they can bind your crypto now um, Robin Hood um, but it's, it's they made it simple which is fine but there's got to be there's got there's still a niche for someone to make some make something like Robin Hood but have more crypto selections I'm so surprised that coinbase only has like what 10 total and there's exchanges that have more than 10 like they're just so behind and I don't understand that but I don't know I'm not in it so I'm just more caught up with like this this as adoption so um, other than that, stay patient right now. I know everyone's except from this first rise, but you know, don't don't feel pressured to buy now or whatever. Just feel it. Um, I mean, go for the classic decisions. Uh, go buy the dips kind of thing and sell at the top and not financial advice. But I don't know. I just want people just to realize to more of. I'm just here. I want to remind people on a mental state of mind. So just stay calm. Don't need to jump the gun. I know there's probably a lot of uh, folks like getting wondering now and getting anxious and you know afraid they'll miss out, which is which is common. But I say in the bigger picture, just realize that uh, Bitcoin went up to 20k and it's only at what 4 48 5k. So let's put it in the bigger perspective. What the bigger picture of it all? What where we're at with crypto? So. Know, hang in there and stay strong everyone okay keep the community strong keep spreading the word and believe 